So I just want to take you through a typical use case for Ruben where we detect an issue, troubleshoot and identify the root cause and then we apply a policy that addresses the root cause so this issue can never occur again. I'm just going to log in. So we just have one device added to the system. This is a core router. So I'll just show you the config. So you just set up your connection details, IP address, community string, and some connection details, and we can connect to that router. So the issue we're going to be detecting is a high CPU issue. So let's have a look at what this device is running at. It's about 4%, 3%. Here's the CLI. So you can see it's running at about 3%. So now that we know the CPU is running at about 3% when the device is in a normal state, I want to deploy a policy to monitor that and to ensure that it doesn't jump up. So here we go into the policy, embedded policies, and we have an embedded policy here in the system performance, CPU performance. So I'm just going to create a new policy. So the event description instructions are all filled in for you automatically. So Device is running at three percent, so I'm going to say if it goes to ten percent, it's going to give me, uh, it's going to create an incident. So I want to get the incident quick, so I'm just going to put that to a period of one minute. So if it exceeds ten percent in one minute, I'm going to get an alert. I'll take these instructions. The next step then is the actions that you want to automate if this event is triggered. So you can send an email, you can send a trap. You can automate some commands to repair the issue, or you can automate some troubleshooting commands. So I'm just going to send an email, give it a subject, and the body, it's the same as the instructions. I'm also going to automate some troubleshooting. So this is a high CPU issue, so this command is going to be run the instant the issue occurs. It's going to get me what processes were running high at the time of the incident. So I'm happy with my actions. And I select my device. And I just click register. So it just takes a minute to push it out. So that's the policy registered. The device is now monitoring its own CPU usage and if it exceeds the threshold of 10% we will get the automated troubleshooting. Now I'm going to go ahead and perform an action on the device to cause the CPU to increase. CPU t can increase due to many factors but for the sake of this example I'm just going to do a simple debug on. Okay, so the CPU should increase and our policy should trigger when it detects the CPU has exceeded the 10% threshold. So our policy has triggered and here is our high CPU usage incident. So here are the details that are contained within this incident. We have the high CPU usage, you can see the device it came from and the time. The instructions here, are here that you configured while you were setting up the policy. And we can see the memory on the side of the event and we can see that the CPU ramped up just before the event. Now the important part here is the automation. So you can see this is the automated troubleshooting that we've collected. TTY background process is the highest process and I know that that process is to do with logging and debugging. So if I look at the CLI history there it is, the debug all command caused this process to spike which pushed the CPU up. So we've detected, we've determined the root cause of this issue. Also in the syslog history, you can see all the last syslogs have been debug syslogs. I also configured this policy to send an email. So let's just see what that contains. It should contain pretty much the same information the dashboard contains. So here we have the email incident at corerouter.com is the name of the router that the incident occurred on. So here we see the instructions that you configured when you're setting it up. You also see what the CPU percentage is at. 
And here are the attachments. You can see the processes, the TTY background there. Syslog history, so you get all the troubleshooting information you get on the dashboard. So you could send this email to yourself, you could send it to a network group, or indeed you could send it to like the Remedy or ServiceNow. The key thing about this policy, and indeed all Rubin's EEM policies, is that should this event have occurred in the middle of the night or when an engineer wasn't available, Rubin will perform all of the troubleshooting that an engineer would have performed had he been there. For example, in this case, we ran the show proc CPU sorted command the instant the event occurred, and we were quickly able to determine the rogue process. If this command was run 5 or 10 minutes too late, we may never have been able to determine the root cause of this incident. This paradigm applies across all types of network issues where we detect an issue, proactively troubleshoot it, and identify the root cause.